Good morning, friends. <clears throat> um, I am doing meal prep, uh, not meal prep, meal planning a little bit differently. Um, only because I am challenging myself once again to get everything out of the pantry. So I went through, um, at the beginning of every month, I take an inventory of what we have. And then I update my inventory sheet based on what is still in there. So I went through last weekend and did all the inventory of all the food that we have. And I'll show you that in a little bit. And then what I'm doing is I am going to make a list of meals that I can make with the food that we have and the lunches that we can take and breakfast that we can have and I'm just going to plan my menu for the week based on those meals and then I'm going to cross everything off and hopefully by the end of the month we are left with nothing. So my grocery budget is going to be a little bit different because I will have to buy some meat um, every week but not a whole lot. Um, and <clears throat> I do have to get fresh produce and like milk, stuff like that. But other than that, I should not have to buy anything all week except for something if I need a supplement. So my grocery budget is going to be down to $50 a week for the rest of the month of February. So I think there's three more shopping trips this month so it shouldn't be more than 150 bucks for the rest of the month which is normally my budget for the week <laughs> so that means then going forward I'm only buying what I need what I've planned so I realize like we just become lazy and then we're eating out or we're doing you know we're just I'm ruining my menu plan because I'm getting too lazy sometimes at night and I need to get out of that. And I need to make sure um, that I prep as much as possible ahead of time. Now, granted, the past couple weeks I have not been feeling well, but I have to do it. I just have to do it. So I don't know if any of you guys need a pantry challenge. Um, I challenge you then to do this right along with me. And what I'll show you every week is my updated inventory list as to how things are dwindling away. And yeah, so stay tuned. I'm going to show you my inventory and I'm also going to show you what meals I can make with what I have on hand. Okay, so this is the start of my inventory. And I do write everything in pencil because I don't want to cross it off. Um, these papers do get expensive. Um, they're for the recollection planner. So what I do is um, I just erase it and then fill in the amounts that are left once I use something. So I have some gluten-free elbow pasta, gluten-free penne, gluten-free spaghetti, and then a box of regular elbow pasta. I have a quarter box of instant brown rice, a half a box of instant white rice, and then I have one of the microwavable rice packets. I think there's two servings in one of these. I have two of uh, gluten-free mushroom penne like pasta mix. I have three macaroni and cheese cups, the individual ones. I have one Parmesan pasta salad, one Nora pasta Alfredo pouch, three regular mac and cheeses, one gluten-free mac and cheese two Idahoan potatoes, and a half box of cornbread stuffing. I have a taco shells kit, half of a box of baking miracle, which is like shake and bake, and half of a box of gluten-free panko crust. Sorry, I'm doing this in the car <laughs> and my charger cord got hung up. Let me unplug that for a second. Okay, so then I have three cut green beans, two cans of kidney beans, two cans of pinto beans, two cans of garbanzo beans, and two um, cans of artichoke hearts. I have two cans of tomato soup, one large container of creamy tomato soup, one large can of bean and bacon soup, and then one large carton of bone broth. I have <coughs> uh, one container of chicken bouillon cubes, two large cans of 
chicken chunks, one can of green enchilada sauce, one of the red enchilada sauce, two cans of poultry gravy, one can of pineapple chunks, one can of cranberries, one can of mandarin oranges, one can of rotel, and then I have a tube of tomato paste. Then in the freezer for meat, I have one whole chicken, I have six chicken breasts, I have five packages of the Mediterranean chicken skewers, and there's 30 total. There's six in each package. I have two packages of turkey bacon. I have four turkey burgers. I have a ham. I have one package of center cut bacon. I have eight packages of barbecued ribs, and I have one package of small ham slices, which is like Canadian bacon. I have a one pound package of ground beef. I have two pieces of filet mignons. I have four veggie burgers. I have one um, chunk of labor case, which is, I make labor case goulash with this. It's a German thing. <clears throat> um, it's like a veal loaf. I have two chicken chipotle sausages, one package of the Hebrew National 97% fat-free hot dogs. I have one package of the chicken spinach feta sausage, one package of the chicken apple sausage uh, from Trader Joe's and one package of like uh, Jimmy Dean's breakfast sausage. And then I also have two packages of Italian chicken sausage. Okay, so then vegetable wise in the freezer, I have <coughs> um, two bags of broccoli. I have two boxes of cauliflower with cheese. I have one bag of the Prince Edward medley, which is green beans and baby carrots. I have a three-quarter package of the Fiesta corn. I have one package of a Mediterranean blend veggies. I have two peas. I have a half a package of corn kernels. And then the shredded zucchini, this I use as soup fillers or for cake, so I'm not worried about using that up. I have two um, batches of mashed cauliflower. Three bags of cauliflowered rice, one bag of roasted sweet potatoes, two bags of mashed sweet potatoes, one and a half bag of baby roaster potatoes. I have one full bag of mini tater tots, a half a bag of seasoned fries, four hash brown patties, and then one bag of shredded hash browns. And these are like quick, easy meals. <clears throat> I have two of the gluten-free spinach and artichoke hot pockets. I have one and a half bags of pot stickers. I have one bag of gluten-free chicken nuggets. I have one um, like lean cuisine from Trader Joe's. It's uh, butter chicken. I have one large container of ham and bean soup that I had made up. I have one small container of ham and bean soup and this serves me twice and this is like for the family. I have two one cup packages of shredded pork. I have three um, quarts of marinara sauce that I made. There is one package of chicken chow mein. There is one batch of French onion soup. I have one more package of gyro slices. I have a gluten-free pizza crust that comes with its sauce. I have eight one cup portions of the apple bacon barbecue pulled pork. I have one cheese pizza and one gluten-free cheese pizza. I have four everything bagel thins, and I did take these out of the freezer last night to do breakfast sandwiches with. I have a package of lavash bread. I have three English muffins. I have a package of pita, large and small. I have four pieces, I know there's four pieces in there, of gluten-free rye bread. I have gluten-free cinnamon raisin bread. I have gluten-free white bread. I have three gallon size bags of gluten-free hot dog buns and four gallon size bags of gluten-free hamburger buns. And then this is like the baking stuff, and then it goes into my seasoning. So I'm not worried about using any of that either. So now let's go and figure out what we can make with this. Okay, so this is what I came up with for dinners with what I just showed you in the pantry. So we can have breaded chicken, mac and cheese, and then salad. And I highlighted all of the fresh stuff so that I know if I'm planning on it, like if I'm going to have salad, then I'm going to want salad a few times that week instead of one time this week, one time next week. Just so no waste. And then in this column here, I just put like what I would need from the store in order to um, complete that meal. So, okay. 
And then like the mac and cheese, I put one box in one cup because Brett and Marissa can finish a box of mac and cheese by themselves. So I always, I have three of those mac and cheese cups, like the individual servings. So I'm just going to make myself one of those because it keeps portions in check. Okay, so we got Meg's meatloaf, mashed cauliflower, and green beans. And then I will make Brett and Marissa a cheese pizza. And I will make myself a lavash pizza with salad. Baked penne with Italian sausage salad and a garlic toast. And the garlic toast, I'm going to use the gluten-free hamburger buns that I have in the freezer. Barbecued ribs, loaded baby roasters, and Prince Edward medley mix. Chicken chow mein and pot stickers, turkey burgers, baked fries, fresh veggies, Meg's Mama's Chili with a rice packet for Brett and Marissa, and I eat mine with tortilla chips, chicken nuggets, mac and cheese, and corn, uh, chicken and broccoli alfredo and salad, and that's just going to be a two-people meal, but Brett and I, um, we usually eat dinner by ourselves on Monday. Uh, spaghetti with meat sauce, a salad, and garlic bread. Mushroom penne with chipotle sausage and salad, club sandwiches, chips and pickles, labor case goulash, tomato soup and grilled cheese I can make three times. Um, baked tacos, South Texas pinto beans and Mexican cauliflower rice. Crock pot rotisserie chicken with roasted sweet potatoes and a Mediterranean vegetable blend. Sweet and sour chicken, rice and broccoli. Cheesy eggs, hash brown patties, apple sausage, mandarin oranges, turkey tenderloin with mashed sweet potatoes and cranberries, steak and ribs, loaded baby roasters, and salad, ham and bean soup with cornbread. Uh, the gluten-free pizza, the one with the sauce, is enough for Brett and I to eat, so we'll have that one night. Uh, Meg's Mama's Chili again with rice and tortilla chips, regular pork sandwiches, with um, barbecue sauce and tater tots and pickles. And let me flip you over. And meatball subs with loaded baby roasters and then I just need a vegetable to go with it. And then meatball subs again with mac and cheese and a vegetable to go with it. And then club sandwiches, tater tots and pickles. So this makes 30 meals and all I would have to then fill in here is um, vegetables to go with it and this is all I need to buy and the fresh stuff like I said is what I buy every week and then these are all of our lunches <clears throat> and I'm not going to go through them all so you can see them here and um, they came out there is 34 lunch options here to take that's a lot of lunches, you guys, like this. And then what did I put here? Oh, uh, we have a party to go to. I'm supposed to be bringing sausage queso and ham and cheese sandwiches. So the Velveeta I need for the sausage queso. And then food prep, I'm using the spinach, feta sausage, and the small ham slices. One for an egg bake, one for egg sandwiches. And that's it, you guys. So this actually... Um, the reason the check marks are here was I went ahead and I plugged it into like a monthly menu to see how long this would get us. And this gets us to March 10th. And that's with two eat out nights, one for my birthday and one for Marissa's birthday. <clears throat> so from now on, what you'll see is me showing you every week what we've dwindled down and... I will show you all of that and hopefully by the end of this I will only be left with chicken skewers and ribs <laughs> so that is going to be like huge in my house so I can start filling up again next month but this is the plan let me know if any of you guys are doing the pantry challenge below um, if you're gonna record it I would love to see it so please tag me in your video and I will talk to you soon, guys. Bye.